Hi friends, in this video, I will reveal a secret hack, trick or method, whatever you prefer to call it, that is key to achieving a flawless skin retouching workflow for stunning results. Let's begin with the image we will be working on for this demonstration. Our main goal is to make the skin look perfect. In the past, it was the responsibility of makeup artist to ensure flawless skin on set or in the studios. However, with the advent of digital technology and Photoshop, you now have the power to be the makeup artist yourself. You can precisely control how you want to your model to appear in your final image. Our focus, however, is solely on making our model skin appear healthy and radiant. To achieve this, we will employ a technique called frequency separation combined with AI. In simple terms, this approach involves breaking down the base image into two components one layer for color and tonal information and another layer for detail and texture. The most important aspect of our workflow will be utilizing AI for skin smoothing. This will significantly speed up the process and make it more user friendly. For reference, the image we are working with is 2000 pixels wide and 2500 pixels high. Keep in mind that throughout this tutorial, we will be using settings and brushes suitable for an image of this size. If you are using images of different dimensions, you may need to adjust your settings and brushes accordingly. Now let's proceed with the separating the image into its component elements to ensure the process works correctly. To do this, go to layer, duplicate layer or use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl or Command plus J to create a duplicate of the base image. Name this new layer, color and tone. Now repeat the same step, create a second duplicate and name it detail and texture. For now hide the visibility of the detail and texture layer, leaving the color layer visibility. Go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur and choose the radius value that blurs out any sharp details. A radius of 6 pixels should sufficient for this image. Next make the detail and texture layer visible again by clicking the eyeball button next to its thumbnail. Ensure that it is the active layer. Go to image, apply image to open the apply image window which allows you to blend two images together for a range of effects. In the apply image window select color and tone under layer and choose the subtract option under blending. This blending mode combines the detail layer with the color layer resulting in a desaturated image. For optimal results, set scale to 2 and offset to 128. Click OK to proceed to the next step. The detail layer has now changed after its blended integration with the color layer below it. To remove all traces of color, go to Image, Adjustments, Desaturate. The image will now appear grayscale where all the detail will be preserved throughout the process. Next click on the blend mode panel and select linear light from the drop down list. With this combination, the detail layer blending into the color layer below will resemble the original image. To compare the before and after, hold the shift key and click on the eyeball button. You will notice that there is no visible difference. Achieving this appearance requires the utilization of these two layers. Now select the top two layers, right click and choose the group from layers option. Name this group frequency separation. Before delving into the main key trick, let's quickly explore what the traditional method looks like. For that, duplicate this group again. ensure that the color layer is active then select the lasso tool from the toolbar use this tool to drag a selection around the skin area of the cheeks once you have made the selection go to select modify feather this panel enables you to feather the edges of your selections for our image size a radius of 8.5 pixels should work well click ok to proceed the selection will now be softened and ready for the next step Go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur to open the blur panel. Keep in mind that you are working on the color layer which is already blurred. But you can further blur these specific areas. In the Gaussian blur panel, select a radius value that enhances the softness of those skin areas. 
without appearing obviously blurred. A value of 64 pixels should be sufficient to achieve the desired effect. Now repeat the same process of selecting the skin area and applying Gaussian blur. This time a value of 20 pixels will help to soften that specific skin area. By following these steps you can enhance the appearance of the skin but it can be time consuming and requires a significant effort. Instead of relying on these filters like Gaussian blur, we will utilize AI generative fill to create a skin smoothing effect. I think you got the point right. Let me delete this group and proceed with the main tutorial. Now activate the previously created group, select the color and tone layer, enter the quick mask mode. Go to edit, fill and choose the shade of grey from the color picker. Opt for a percentage between 40 to 30 percent depending on what works best for you. In this case I will choose 30 percent grey. Click ok to close the color picker and then click ok again to close the fill dialog. If you have followed all the steps correctly, you will see a reddish image. Now exit quick mask mode by clicking on the icon once again. You may notice a contextual taskbar appearing at the bottom of the panel. If it's not visible, go to the window menu and enable the contextual taskbar option. Now click on generate to fill. Our aim is to achieve smooth skin. So type the prompt skin smoothing. This single prompt should be sufficient to produce perfect skin. However, if you'd like to explore further options, you can also include prompts like skin coloring and skin toning to maintain the original colors and tones. In some cases, you might even find better results. Now click on generate button and wait for the content to be generated. Once the results are displayed, you will see three variations that Photoshop AI has generated. Personally, I prefer the third variation. Let's regenerate it once more hoping to obtain even better results than before. I recommend selecting the variations that closely resembles the original image in terms of facial features and overall appearance. In my case, I will choose the bottom third option since it exhibits a professional looking skin color and tone. Now select the layer mask of the generative layer. Use a soft edged brush, select the black color and paint over areas such as eyes, lips and hair to retain the original details as much as possible. I am doing it a little faster to save time. When you are doing it, take your time and do it slowly and patiently. Fantastic! I have finished masking the eyes, lips and hair. If you prefer sharper facial details, you can turn off the blurred color layer. But for natural looking results, I recommend turning on or lower the opacity to your preference. So here is the final result which looks impressive. Most importantly, this process is super easy and fast. In the next video, I will provide you with an action for this effect. So stay tuned and make sure to subscribe to my channel. If you would like to download the finished PSD file, I will provide it on my Patreon page. Make sure to check it out. Additionally, I will be posting useful brushes, presets, actions and much more on my Patreon page. If you are interested, become a member and support me in my creative endeavors. Thank you for watching and I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Please like, share and comment. I will see you guys in my next video. Take care and happy editing.